victorious ones. God is prospering you. So about December 2021, I remember putting on a green dress and I said, this new year, 2022, was going to be a year of prosperity, according to Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. And so I've been watching the color green <laughs> just like pop up, you know, all around. And so I decree and declare over your life, over your marriage, over your spouse, over your children, over your health, over your spirit, over your soul, over your mind, will and emotions. Right now, I decree and declare over your businesses, your ministry, your finances. I decree and declare prosperity in the name of Jesus. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And so prosper means to succeed. It means to be, su it, it means to be successful. It means to flourish, to grow strong and healthy. And so I'm talking about prosperity that's beyond finances. I'm talking about you're prospering in your, in your spiritual walk with the Lord. You're prospering in the word, in your faith, in your prayer. You're prospering in your purpose. You're prospering. Your family is prospering in the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I decree it. I declare it. I release Jeremiah 17 and verse 7 over you. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in him. Amen. It says, blessed, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. Is that you? Is that you? Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is the Lord. Is the Lord your trust, victorious ones? And so in verse 8, new beginning, it says, if that's you, you will be like a tree that's planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream, okay? It says, they are like trees planted along the riverbank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing. I decree and declare that over our families right now in the name of Jesus. We are planted by the living waters of the word of God according to Ezekiel 47. Out of our bellies are flowing rivers of living waters. We send out our roots deep in the water of the word of God. And we're not afraid about heat or drought or any problems out there because God is our trust. And so our leaves remain green. The leaves of our families the leaves of everything that's attached to us will remain green because we have the tree of life on the inside of us in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. I release Joel 2, 22, over us right now in the year 2022. It says, the tree bears its fruit. The pasture is green. Fear not. The pastures of the wilderness are green. The tree bears its fruit. The fig tree and the vine give, it says, give their full yield. We are fruitful and we multiply. We lack nothing. The Lord is our shepherd we shall not want. He has led us to green pastures. We are flourishing in our marriages. The whole household is saved. Psalm 23 and verse 2, that's our birthright. God has made us to lie down in shalom peace in green pastures and he leads us beside the still waters in the name of Jesus. The drought is over. The drought is over. The famine, the famine is over. Whatever that's been coming against you, I decree and declare that those things are bound and cast out into the abyss and you are prospering in the name of Jesus. Psalm 1 and verse 3 is our birthright. Because God is our trust. We are like a tree planted by the streams, by, by the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Every, every, every season we are bearing our fruit. Our leaves will never wither. And we prosper in all that we do. 
Whatever we do for the Lord, we are prosperous. We are prosperous in raising our children, prosperous in our families, prosperous in ministries. Listen, in our ministries, souls upon souls upon souls are being saved. We are prosperous in our businesses, in our finances, in our souls, our spirits, our body, and our health. We are prosperous in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Our blessings overtake us now. According to Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. And I release Zechariah 117 upon us right now. We overflow with prosperity. We overflow with prosperity and God has comforted us. And the Lord will again comfort Zion and choose Jerusalem. We are a chosen generation. We are royal priests of the holy nation. We overflow with prosperity. We prosper in wisdom, knowledge and understanding. We prosper with favor. We lack no good thing and God is comforting those who have been grieving. God is healing our hearts in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for turning around. Prosperity is chasing us down, overtaking us. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare it over us. We are wealthy and healthy. We are successful. We see affluence, opulence. We have ease. We have fortune. We have the Asher blessings. God is taking our ashes and giving us a beautiful crown. We have security, we have shalom, peace, we have the milk and honey, we have the land flowing, the promised land of milk and honey in the name of Jesus. God is advancing us, accelerating his promises in our lives. There's no more failure, there's no more hardship. We thrive, we see the manifestation of the promises of God in the name of Jesus. Our debts are canceled. God has given us the houses to live in that we can continue to build up the kingdom and bless our families. We are the best. We are, we are obedient. God said if you be willing and obedient, you will eat the best of the land. We eat the best of the land. We receive new strength. We prosper in new strength, in joy, in faithfulness, in kindness, gentleness, in love. In the name of Jesus, we prosper in self-control. We prosper in unity. We prosper. Bless doors of prosperity open up now because we are quick to listen to God. We are obedient to him. I speak this word over our children, over our spouses. I speak this, this word over the body of Christ. No more, no more being stuck. No more not having clarity. No, we have clarity. We have insight. We have revelation and we go forth. In the name of Jesus, God to strengthen your ankles, you're paralyzed no more. We are leaping and walking and praising the Lord. And I cover this prayer and this message with the blood of Jesus. I cover your family, my family, and our nations with the blood of Jesus. We turn back to God. We obey the Lord. And I seal this prayer. I seal this message with the seal of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I thank you, O oh God, for confirming your word. We are wearing the green, the, 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 the green blessings, Father. Our leaves will never wither. The, our leaves have healing according to it. The, um, Ezekiel, Ezekiel, Father God, Ezekiel 47, and also Revelation, Father God. I thank you that we, we speak the word of God. And the, the word of God brings healing, death, and life are in the power of your tongue. And those who love it will eat the fruit thereof. We, when we speak, when we show up, we are children of the light. We are God's sunflowers in the earth. We reach and grow toward the light, the sun of righteousness. And we prosper in the name of Jesus. The, the light of God is upon us. He is our light and our salvation. There's no more darkness. There's no more failure. There's no more divorce. There's no more infirmity. There's no more rebellion. There's no more disobedience. There's, there's no more stubbornness. There's no more witchcraft. There's no more curses. We are blessed with the blessings of Abraham. And every wicked thing is bound and cast into the abyss in the name of Jesus. We stand beneath the open heavens and we flourish. Healthy fruit, healthy roots. Because we're in the water of the word. We are wealthy. We, we are God's children. And we have everything that we need. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Lord, I praise your holy name. Amen, amen, amen.